And let the record show we have Judy and, and Zach. Quick one. Okay. Yes, yes ma'am. Um, first side thing. I know. You and I get our side calendar. view. Calendar. Approve and file minutes for the regular meeting of January 26th and special meeting February 10th. Have we all seen and approved the minutes? Yes, they've all been sent out. i got no comments for corrections. Well, yes, I'd like did. to make a motion. Well, I made the corrections. Yeah, I don't think you got a Do we? Do we send corrections? Do I send them to you? You well, can send them. Matt, I send them out on her computer because that's where I draft them. You can just okay. reply to that. These are terrific things. Okay. So, um, is there a motion to approve the minutes for regular meeting January 26th and special meeting February 10th? I'll yes. make that motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, moving on, Treasurer's Report. Okay. Drum roll, please. Um, financial statements for January 2016 were distributed to the board on Friday, February 19, 2016. January is the uh, month seven of the SMRPD fiscal year, following our highlights of the financial reports. SMRPD profit and loss statement. Another significant Orange County tax distribution of 28.2K was received this month. The year to date. Can I ask you a question? Mm -hmm. How do we get those? Because they don't come in the mail. Is that an electronic funds yes, transfer? Oh, here they, yeah, well, they go into our account at the county. Okay, they so it is electronic. We never yeah, get a just, check. Okay. No, we never yeah. get a check. Okay. We have to do a transmittal and get our own check when we do that, which, by the way, I think we'll probably do again in June, maybe. Okay. You know, we got about, I don't know, 70 left or something, 73,000 in the account, so we're, you know, we still got plenty in there to, to do it. But we may add another 15 in June. Uh, okay, so distribution 28.2K. The year to date income of 73.7K breaks down as follows 68.3K tax revenue, 4.4K facility rentals and program fees, and $1,000 other revenue. A board decision was made to regularly fund the SMRPD local bank account and eliminate the lengthy paperwork requirements for expense reimbursements by the county. January expenses are higher than normal as current expenses and delayed county reimbursements are both being reflected in these cash basis financials. Monthly expenses should stabilize going forward. Also included in current month expenses is the mid-year insurance to prepayment of uh, 3.1K. Year-to-date expenses are 64.4, uh, 64.6k, resulting in year-to-date net income for the first time this fiscal year of 9.2k. Yay. Yay! Don't worry, it'll all go away soon. <laughs> we have plans for it. We have plans. Um, SMRPD balance sheet. Our cash position is uh, 281.9k, 18 and a half uh, k higher than last month reflecting January net income results. All other assets and liabilities remain unchanged from December. SEC profit and loss statement, current month tuition reserves. and registration fees are up at 10.4K, uh, the highest since July 2015, and a welcome relief. Revenue trends will continue to be closely monitored. Total revenue for January is 11.4K. The year-to-date income of 72.8K breaks down as follows. 58.7K tuition and other program fees, which represents 80%, and then 20% of our Children's Center fund funding comes from donations and fundraisers. That's 11.9K. SEC tuition and program fees are still not covering expenses in any one month period, although January comes close. The financial health of the Children's Center continues to rely heavily on donation income. Expenses for the month total 10.5K, for usual, resulting in net income for the first time since January 2015 of uh, 0.9K. Year-to-date expenses of 72.5K, and final results are nearly break-even. 
with a year-to-date net income of 0.4K. The SEC balance sheet, SEC's operating cash is 2.9K, continues dangerously low, particularly when considering monthly expenses are more than 10K. There again, this is a picture at a particular moment in time, it's more than that now. The cash balance will continue to be closely monitored. Our total cash position is 9.5K, which includes 5K in a savings earmarked for an upcoming free payment. The change in our month-end cash position from last month is 0.5K, which reflects the 0.9K January net income offset by a 0.4K decrease in accounts receivable. And that's the report. So the other night to drop me so I can have put on the minutes for yeah. next month. Thanks. And that is that. So I guess I'll make the motion to accept the uh, financials and uh, pleasure report. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 So layman's terms, the SEC without the five thousand set aside for that. They have how much? Right at the moment the balance is ninety five hundred about? Yeah, I was trying to think. I didn't look at this before I came. Debbie, you got it this morning, right? What was it this morning? Yeah, it was like ninety five eighty, I wanna say. I don't remember. It was yeah. down. I thought it was down a little bit. It was up. It was like ten yesterday, and then something obviously yeah. went through. Yeah. Yeah. Here but it's, it's a little. It's a little. Uh, okay. 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 Yeah. Dad, electric cleaner. Yeah, we're all. I think okay. we're all caught up now. Yeah, I just wanted to point out in the financials here. Yeah, we have our high electric payments. Well, not for the children's center though. And then um, this money in here for Steve, the 4,151, is that's primarily for the floor, right? Uh, well, I'd have to go back to the Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, is Steve here? No. Yeah, the floor, the floor was softer there. Right? And Steve's been doing a lot overall. Do you know how much we paid the others, do you? Uh, I don't have it right in front of me. Well, you know, I don't have it going, but yeah. Uh, uh, I don't know if I can put some of the report for you. So are they both listed under the toilet paper, or? Uh, So we just went ahead and got it. 
And we just want to thank you for your many, many contributions to keeping the community what it is today. I hope it's a boat. I was hoping it was a pizza. <laughs> a big pizza. So anyway, there you go, Judy. Thank you very much for all of your work for the community. I really wanted one of those, and they oh. made one up for me. Oh, oh nice. Beautiful. So now you got to get everybody one. Oh, yeah. This was, I think, right after the fire. That's why Saddleback shows so much snow. It was. Because there was no brush up there. Who took that? Eleanor Reynolds. Is oh, she Eleanor really took that? That's beautiful. Yeah. It's got all the clouds. That's yeah. lovely. She did, Lovely. She did those two, and then Shay, you did the poppies. Yeah, those are and mine. I don't know which uh, the cactus. I don't know. Eleanor did another one of which one? Of, which I one did. Of, I did all of those on that side of the yeah. wall, and this is her. Uh, well, they sure did. Mm -hmm. They sure did brighten up the room. And um, you know, I hate to be unappreciative, but I was watching the caucus in the. In the you can bed. go home, Judy. <laughs> Thank you so, for coming. We got a TV right back there. You can do a That's true. We can just turn down. Take your gift and run. I know. That's not very nice. Oh, we forgot to frame it. No, 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 no it no, comes no. like that. It's good. It comes like yeah. this. Yeah. But I do thank you all. Thank you so much. Thank you, Judy. This is beautiful. I think it captures what Mikey tried to do with my own camera and have never been successful. So, thank you so much. Have a great night. Thank you. And good job, Debbie, on getting all those made. They're okay. lovely. Okay. okay. What's next? That was the action item for the SMRP van use policy and waiver. Yes. So let me tell you what happened with that. So I. Um, is Rick back to you? No. Rick is at a conference, but his secretary said that he was checking his email, but he didn't get back to me, so we'll just. Put it over to the next meeting but betsy went over it and john went over it and so there's three documents there's a request to use the van there's um the a more complete van policy and transportation and then there's the um release for passengers and they're different than what we've been using and i feel more comfortable with these so Anyway, so we'll have it at the next meeting. Okay. So will the van, are you guys looking at the van? Because somebody just asked me, like, is the van up for rent? No, I don't think so. I think it was voted against. So. It's not okay. in the it's children's not, center's not, best interest for us to do that. Yeah, okay. it's, your, it's our asset and your you know, tool to use. Yeah. And we can't afford it not to be there. Okay. And and it was just from the experience we had with the Team Rubicon. Okay. And the misuse of the driver being approved and licensed. And, okay. and all that can be, would have been detrimental to our whole insurance. Okay. It could have been. So, we just want to avoid that. And keep it. It's not that we can't use it for, let's say, an SRP sponsored event, yeah. a field trip, the seniors going to a museum, right. or something like that. But as the public coming to rent it like a, you know, like hurts? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. No. So I'll just tell people straight up. No, no, no. no. Yeah. Not an option. Okay. Okay. So we'll get that done. Okay. Number six. We'll get right to the Silver Island Children's Center Oversight <laughs> Committee. We have action item, a report from Maury Briggs. You want to do the report? Um, Your stellar report? Our stellar report? Well, you know, it's like the report I'm reporting on is January, and then we had another big jump in February, so between January and February, things have really turned around for us out at the Children's Center, so um, things are going very, very well. Yes, it does. Your full-time equivalents seem to be going up, and yes. it's going to look good even next month, and we just keep on going, you know, we'll, we'll try to do as much as we can to help. And Thank you. with that said, I did bring something. You can have your committee. Oh, okay. Here's your committee. Oh, that's Thank good because I want everybody to look at it. Here's a logo. Is it a goat? Is it a little? Well, it's a kid. It's, I get it. I get it. Yes. I get it. Did, you it's did whimsical. ask for a goat. Because I'm looking for a new logo. You asked for a... I did. With a goat in it. <laughs> like a, a farm animal. So. Aww, I love the tree. It's good. 
And it's vectorized. It can be produced as big as you want it, on a banner, anywhere you want to print it. Business cards, anything. It can be used in a banner, it can be used in an ad, it can be used, I can make it a PNG transparent for your website. I can put it, you know, JPEG, anything. It can be done in I already had I already had children on there once, but it yeah, just gets it too busy. Okay. And then you're gonna have it look muddy when you go small. And then it's gonna look, you know. Okay. Like first I was just like, let's do a tree with fire. And then do you want rainbow children? You don't know, have no, different colors. Just mm -hmm. like silhouettes. Because that's been beat to death. Like Those are that. <laughs> yeah, I like the natural look of it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So all thank that. you. That's all that I got. Well, that's what we had when I was a kid. Tire swing. Yeah, yeah, and we have a tire swing. Did they have tire and it's tire been there. Tire? Where I grew up, yeah, we did. Yeah, tire swing's been there. Can I report on the rooster grant? Yes, and now we'll have a. Sorry, was that it? Well, that's it, but um, Carolyn's here. We wanted to talk about tuition increases for fall. I had it kind of on the back notes of my. Yeah, of my I, report. Saw, I saw that. Um, why don't you go through your notes then and, and uh, present that? Well, we we would like to, because I know this has to be approved and posted in the newspaper, right, for approval anytime we increase anything. So we're just looking to create a rate for potty training, um, increasing the registration fee because we're below everyone else's registration fee, increasing tuition rates. But the big part of this that Carolyn was supporting was we increase tuition rates for families that live outside the canyon, but we keep a canyon rate for canyon residents. And right now, what's the enrollment? Half and half? Uh, we have 10 kids who are canyon children at this time. And how, what's the total enrollment? We have 25 kids. Right, so it's about half. Then, would this be a known topic amongst the local non-locals? Would they know what their tuitions are? Would it ever get out? Would there be animosity? Yeah, I would say. No, I mean, I don't. Carolyn, what do you think on that? I don't I mean, think. I, I, don't, I don't think it's unreasonable because, yeah. you know, it would be for people who live within the parks district. And this is kind of, you know, a local taxpayer benefit. You know, we're paying into right. it as residents. Right. And so, you know, I think it's totally reasonable to let people from outside the community carry a little bit of the, more of the financial burden and that's not a significant, you know, okay. a significant amount. The other, other question I had here is an increased registration fee, so it would be a hundred dollars per child then one fifty for each for sibling? Two. No, no. Or one fifty for two? For two. Okay, yeah. I, would, I would fix your wording on that one. Okay. Because it almost looks like oh, 150 okay. for the sibling. For a child and sibling. Yeah, yeah so I would just Maybe and then it, and maybe stretch it out to three. Yeah, like three kids, you'd probably make it two hundred dollars for yeah. registration fee. So yeah. we haven't we haven't been there yet with three kids. Yeah, and it's probably very rare just because yeah. of the your age group you're yeah. in, and if someone had, you know not many people have twins or triplets or yeah. babies one right after the other. But that's the only thing I can see the fix on that. Okay. So didn't your one of your drafts say increase? To all tuition rates, didn't you say by five percent? That, that's what I was saying about five percent, and then Carolyn and I kind of did the numbers. Like five yeah. percent was. I I said that five percent was almost nine hundred dollars, and it would probably be easier for families just to do nine hundred because that way it's easier to remember your your payment each month. So you yeah. mm -hmm. round up. Yeah, yeah, it's like yeah. that's like five and a half or so. Full time. Yeah. yeah. Full time. Yeah. Which is still. Um, Amongst other schools in the area, yeah, or I, I let's say this. in their area. I just have one copy. This is from what um, other schools are charging right now. And this is this says for two and then for four. Is that what this is for? It says two and two. Two means two year olds and four means okay. Oh, okay. That's yeah, most eight. schools um, differentiate between the age group. Yeah. A lot of them don't have a potty training fee, but they have a more expensive cost for. They have a more expensive class for unpotty trained children. What would the potty training fee be? Is it a one time charge for that year? Um, I think uh, in Carolyn's research, we were talking about like forty dollars extra a month. 
about ten dollars a week. I want to ask about that because that was a huge issue when we had that before when Mary was working there, mm -hmm. and it was uh, because of not having two people in the classroom. So now we have plenty of staff, and the staff that we have are very efficient at body training. Okay. Yeah. So that so, would not be an issue. No. Yeah, that would be yeah. a lot. And we, we're maxing it out at six. I mean, we've already got six two-year-olds right now that are in the potty training process. So I'm not, you know, my plan is not necessarily to enroll any more kids who are in diapers. So then what happens is, let's say in the middle of the year, within the middle of the month, mm -hmm. the child becomes potty trained and then that fee goes away. Mm -hmm. Or is it throughout the whole year? Or is it based on That's being when potty, potty trained? trained is over. Yeah. yeah. When they're once they're in underwear and minimal accidents. We're already doing this. We're just not yeah. getting exactly. We're extra just not charging extra for all the time it yeah. takes. Yeah. yeah. And it's very time consuming. I mean, yeah. it takes up most of Heather's day is spent yeah. just well, potty. Well, given said for the parents to spend some more time on potty training, also. Yeah. Yeah, I, I would think that. But so then what you need to do is for next month you need to have a full yeah. schedule all written up. Okay. With what all the rates will be the current ones and what we're what we're proposing. Right. Okay. Yeah. Mama, and we need to I think um, no. get an approval from the Betsy Martin on having a differential tuition rate for out of um, our yeah. jurisdiction. Have it written up and then John will give it to our council. Okay. With any corrections that Debbie might see, or we might see, and then okay. we'll go back and forth once, and then John will put yeah, one so with it. Yeah, so she needs answer. to get it to you before the next meeting. If there is so going to be a differential, I think we need yeah. to get that. I'll work on it next week council. and send it to you. We'll be gone next week. Oh, okay. Kevin can, yeah, you can I'll send it to you. Yeah. Okay. All right, perfect. Good, so yeah. Just uh, clarify, increase your 50 to 100 per, and then 150 to 250. Okay. Well, 175 for three. I don't know. Since they're there, it might, that might be a way to go. Okay. Okay. There so there's currently no separate pricing for paying yeah. residents, but yeah. we'll be creating. Yeah, and yeah. I think it is a good Which idea. I think it's, I I think think it's it totally it's like a park facility. Like, like Carolyn was saying, you know, people are paying property taxes to live here, so you're kind of already paying into Max, the, no begging. the children's center, so. Well, big time. There's yeah. a $130,000 deficit that. Yeah. yeah. Could have gone for other things, supporting the children's I center. So the community idea. here gets less recreational benefits because of they the don't. children's center. So hopefully in the future that won't be the case. Yeah. And there's right now 11 full time Ten. equivalent? Oh, 13.71. 13.71? Uh, mm -hmm. 13 mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Did our did our equivalent need go up? Remember it used to be 12? Mm -hmm. Is it still 12? Well, I don't know. We We've never okay. changed it from the plan, but okay. um, that was always just a place to break that even. That was a place number. to break even mm -hmm. when so there was. So obviously she would love to do now we're going to have higher expenses. <laughs> so we're going to have to see how it goes. Okay. Well, here's the deal. We were, hundred, I think, $100 short of uh, paying our expenses with tuition last month, and we had 11 FTE. So the projections right. that we needed 12 seems like it's still there. really right yeah. on the mark. Yeah. They're almost there. Um, like and it might fluctuate with the increase if it gets approved with mm -hmm. the non-locals, mm -hmm. and that could help mm -hmm. with that. But also, just keep up the good work. It's going, you know, if, if we can the keep word, increasing. The word is out about the and school, and it's spreading. Like, good. I just had a guy come from China, and he heard about us in China. They got a lot of children there. They have a well. They we could partner up with them because what they're looking they're not at is watching their kids. <laughs> they saw our program somehow, and he came and met with me like two weeks ago and said, "I have like five of these families in China. They want to send their kids here for two months over the summer to be immersed in you know mm. American culture and learn English and all that. And mm. you know our children don't really have experiences like this in nature. We're looking for something mm -hmm. like that. This could be a real benefit for you because." He's all these are, you know, families. Program. He said these are affluent families. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for summer. For they summer send camp, them for two yeah. months. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, Lori, maybe right. you should approach licensing and get the license for the other a module extended to six o'clock. Yeah. I'm still go. waiting on the on the six year old um, increase to our license too, because you know we requested to be a license right. up to six I years old. Do that. Okay. Oh, yeah. 
Okay, good. All right, so can I report on All the right. rooster's grant? Yeah, report on the rooster's grant. So I'm happy to announce that the rooster's grant is done. Lori has $25 to spend on the garden that they're going to install in the back by the older children's playground. So um, I prepared a small report for the Roosters Foundation that if someone, it's my only copy, but if you want to come up and look, you can. And so what I said is that during the past year and a half, the Rooster Grant has achieved the following. Increase the awareness and appreciation of the environment and nature for 75 young children who attended the school or participated in events. Enable the development of a hands-on, environmentally-based learning curriculum that rolls nature into reading, writing, spelling, number identification, etc. Transform the SEC's classrooms Mom. through providing environmentally specific learning materials such as insect viewers, a water table, treehouse fabric, science books, a geos discovery kit, etc. More than doubled SEC's enrollment as more and more parents appreciated the value of a nature-based preschool. And then specifically, the grant provided a week of intensive outdoor education by Inside the Outdoors, Orange County Department of Education's Environmental Science Program, <coughs> a week of day camp focused on science education at Tucker Wildlife Sanctuary, a nature center operated by California State University Fullerton in Majesca, and then six traveling scientist workshops, for, that was also from Inside the Outdoors as SCC. And then I wrote, SEC's grounds and classrooms were transformed with an abundance of natural materials, science-oriented books and equipment, colorful art projects based on nature, small animals, and even a small wooden tree. Not a penny of the grant was spent on staff or operating expenses. Every cent went to enhance the children's environmentally based education and for materials necessary for science-oriented learning. So, and then I took pictures of a lot of the things that were purchased with the grant. So we sent this in. Did the roosters Roos request the report, or was this just something you did to show? No, it's just something. I, I mean, there might have been, we didn't even really get a standard form letter, but we got yeah. something kind of strange. That's what I was wondering. So. I think this is a great idea to mm -hmm. hopefully stay in their good grace. Mm -hmm. I think it'd be nice for them a letter from you and the kids yeah. and see if we can keep I that. I don't think that's necessary. Megan, but it's not. I know, but for grant committees, it doesn't, it's not a... Pictures of little kids? <laughs> you can't send pictures of little kids. Oh. With bars over there? It does, it does <laughs> keep with the yeah, children's that is. history, but... <laughs> I was very careful not to have any children. I was just trying pictures. to go with the borrowed interest yeah. and you know keep yeah. keep the children's center in the forefront of their giving and their generosity. And, you know, maybe they'll yeah. consider it to get yeah. in the future. Oh, Rosie, get down. I, I, you know, I, I, maybe I a letter really, from you personally, Lori, about happen. you know well, something like that. Oh, 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 they don't get reports and have data and facts yeah. as to how the ground is spent. Well, then maybe you go to their office. How about sending them cookies? I know. I like cookies. Yeah, we, the Children's Center <laughs> has typically done what you're saying for many years. So does everybody else. I know. And I know. it just goes right in the trash because it doesn't mean well, it. Well, when the time comes to fill out the paperwork, <laughs> maybe they have an application. <laughs> yeah. But the point, listen, you guys, the point is not really that. The point is, is that this money transformed the Children's Center. Absolutely. And the Children's Center now is very clean. Yes. yes. The very Children's Center is very clean. Children's Center is so clean. It doesn't smell anymore. <laughs> it used to smell all the time. Oh, it's my time. Oh, no. I miss it. It. <laughs> yes. And it looks like a nature preschool. It has been transform. Once you get a garden in there and you do a little bit more work on the outside, you know, there's like seats made out of log stumps that Steve brought over there. I mean, visually, it looks very, very good. Yeah, I've been over there a couple times in the last month or so for, for this telecom thing and oh, yeah. also looking at the garden and what could be done there. It just looks a, a lot better. A lot better. So, yeah, good job. Well, okay. Good job, Lori. And I think all the effort and all the stuff you're doing is probably helping increase your FTE and and uh, keep up the good work. Yeah, everybody there is very happy and they're telling all their friends about it. Good. So, 
But I don't think we could have done it without the rooster grant. No, that definitely, definitely has added the enrichment. Um, all right, did you bring the... I did. Okay, um, I think Lori had requested possibly getting the, the Albertsons credit card back again. And if you, if, if, if we're going to do that, that's fine. But if we're not going to do that, I'd like to up the credit cash. To, this is pretty high, but I'd like to up it to 300 because I just, I just charged this Friday. And now it needs to be charged again. So it's, it, it's well, we got into a little bit of trouble with the Albertsons credit right. card. Now, with that said, do you I mean, always I, shop I at Albertsons, or do you go no, to like State of Brothers, which this might week be I, better? I went to Ralph. Sometimes if I can get someone to take me, I go to Costco, or I go to Smart and Final, or I go to Trader Joe's. Okay. I think um, cash might be the best way to go there. Okay. Okay. you're going to get more bang for your buck. I just, I go, now that we have enough staff, every Monday morning, that's what I do. It's my first thing. I go to the store. I get snacks for the week and all our favorite products. So, and that's going to be anywhere from fifty to a hundred dollars a week. So. All right. Well, okay. So, well, then okay. let's up, yeah. but make sure you keep it under lock and key. So, okay. it's starting to get to be a lot of money membership. now. Okay. Uh, yeah, I do. I mean, I got. But the board doesn't have. <laughs> no, we don't. A Costco card? No, uh -huh. probably. I think Amy. Mark, you take me. They would try. I don't know what they do, but usually. Yeah, we remember that. <laughs> I, have I have a membership. Also. We don't necessarily want to have credit cards. <laughs> well, well, why don't we pay for Lori to get one? one? It would save a lot of money. Yeah, it would be. It would be very beneficial. I mean, right now I rely on Marcy and then Steve to see one day, so. But, you know, then I could go every Monday. Isn't it $60? For the executive membership for a year? We don't need the executive membership. Because you get money back when you We don't need executive yeah. membership. But I did that. It wasn't worth it. Yeah, yeah, it's never worth it, and they're trying to upsell. So. Okay. It's, it's, a, it's a gimmick. It really is. Hey, Max, I don't think that you no should eating. just get a Costco card, a regular membership, okay. and then the we can too. reimburse her. Is that all right? No, yeah. don't let him feed the dog. He's very allergic to all food. Is he? Yes. Oh. He, his lips will break out. It's really sad. Oh, man, he gets a big old thing on his butt. Yeah. He's a puking. So, so we're deciding right. on a Costco we don't have to vote on it. He can take it out of the yeah. yeah. So I have permission to go get a Costco card. Yeah, sounds like me, yep. Cool. Okay. Give me your receipts and I'll recharge you. Oh, okay. We want to vote to increase the petty cash. No, I mean, I don't think it's really necessary. I okay. you know, just want everybody to know. Yeah, I don't think we're going to have our game more successful here. Right. But is it Spartan Final cheaper than Costco on no. that kind of stuff? Yeah, no. Depends on what it Some is. Some stuff, but not others. Yeah, you're right, you're right, it does depend. Matt, yeah. you know, you've got to just know what you're talking about. Yeah, okay. So it's good to have both things. Smart Final's pretty good. Yeah. 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 It's quality stuff, too, you know. Oh, go ahead. Okay. Next uh, item on the list is facility committee. Phil is going to have an action item of parking lot repair. Yeah, we're just, uh, just trying to figure out when to do this. We had it authorized and everything. I had a date of uh, 70. And you know what? This is a window. It's just a proposed window of, of two weeks. It would, it's going to obviously depend on what else may be going on and what the contractor is able to do and whatnot. Um, but I noticed on the uh, on the calendar that that was a time period where there was no concerts, there was no you know there was the usual things going on we have, but nothing, uh, no special events. And uh, in looking at that also, I, I noticed that 5:22 to 6:5 was also open, if you will, or there wasn't much there. So, you know, I mean, it really almost doesn't matter it, 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 but I, if, if somebody's got a different suggestion for two, for a two-week window. I would I'd just I, like to get the contractor to say, okay, we want to get it done sometime this week. Okay, so what you need is get a contractor and say, how, how, he's not going to need two weeks. Oh, absolutely not. He's, so... But you got that to, window, there's a good idea. It, it, well, no, it's good to have a window because of weather and everything else, but you need to get the contractor, you need to tell them what are the solid work days, and... Then start them. Well, yeah, but, but it gets complicated with the scheduling because you know right. I, I, it's quite possible he'd want to do it on the night of the concert. Right. I would suggest the earlier date because once we um, once we get 
Yeah, we have to get the, this room done, Steve. We have yeah. to get my wood my okay. wood things. And once we get the landscaping in a little bit better shape and we start developing the marketing materials for the weddings, I mean, July could be a big month for us. It's possible. We don't have enough time to get the word out. Like and the sooner we, I mean, I, I don't know if you can contact any contractors to do No, no, it's a complicated procedure. That's why I put it out so far. Because we've got to, we, it's, when you get up over the cost of time, you've got to publish in the paper, you've got to right. make your announcements. Um, you, you've also, uh, Steve, we got to, we also have, we, the contractors all have to, if they don't have formal plans, They've got to have a standardized thing that we're going to do. Like we're going to lay down, we have you know, to we're going to break. You know, I, what I want to do is at the next safety meeting is take a little time with you and we can run down and uh, do a quick list of things we want to have done with the parking lot and thickness of asphalt and what, where we want things. You know, we need to, we need, because we need to give something to them that it's going to be the same for all of them and they can bid on it. It's going to have to be a prevailing wage and all that stuff. Oh, prevailing wage, the whole kitty move. Yeah, but it's, so it's going to take a little while to pull it all together. And then there's the question of do you want the scope to be not just the parking lot, but the the basketball court, right. or do we want to consider down a broken two, two down separate prices, probably. two separate prices because it could be a lot of money, and we may not want to do them both. Yeah. So I think it's March 14th. Well, I think if you're going to down and you can do one or the other, I would think the basketball court would be a priority because that's more of a hazard than the parking lot. Well, have we given up on concrete? No. I hope so. It's about but it's same. extraordinarily expensive. Yeah. Well, so so was asphalt because of the oil prices and everything else. But that's come down, but has it really affected the prices of asphalt? No, we don't know anything about and it. And it, it does it doesn't affect it pretty much, but not at all, really. Yeah. So and it was. I think we should get prices. If you if you <laughs> okay. put the value of the longevity of concrete to the longevity of asphalt, mm -hmm. and that's not much more it is, it's worth it to get concrete. So, yeah, maybe. Well, well, yeah, we, we, we should certainly consider it. You know. I think we should look at it, talk to those people. And I'd, I'd like to, you know, when we have our safety meeting, like I say, I want to kind of hook up yeah. and, and, and then we'll talk about it and standardize it. Yeah. Okay. If, if the committee recommends, you know, it's concrete, I'd be well, and we got It'd be better for the skateboard part. Yeah. It'd be cooler for the fair. It would well, be. Well, you know, our I've been through this. Well, I've been through this asphalt issue. This, how many times have we done that? Compaction, you, but it's never been compacted right. And it's, you know, <laughs> We've done it a couple of times. Right. Let me see you laughing uh, about this. There's, 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 for the basketball yeah. court, the biggest problem is where the tree roots mm -hmm. lifted yeah. up right. near the close goal. And I mean, you could consider a patch instead of redoing the whole thing. Which would be a yeah, lot less. Right. We can get a price on if we have it. If well, we, we have get the price from the contractors and they're broken down separately, then we can say, okay, it's, forget this one and we're going to go with this instead. Yeah, or, we need or whatever. This is all, right now, I think it's all hearsay. Right, right. We're talking. Yeah, I'd say we table blah, blah, blah. it. Let's go take it. No, that's, that's, that's fine. I just, want everybody, I just want everybody to be aware that this is going to be a big disruption. Yeah. So, right. you know, we're, we're going to. But that's why it's got to be coordinated immensely. Right. So, right now, it's. That's right. Right now, you're looking at. Between Fourth of July and that concert, I, I weekend? Was, I'm no, looking for. After, I'm after. just looking for holes after. in the it's in like the July schedule. 18th, yeah. Yeah. As, as the last possible, oh, the last possible holes, you know. Okay. And uh, that's a good time to do it. You know. So, and it okay. is a little farther out because well, I've got to we've got to do all the stuff we got. Well, to that do. makes sense. But the other thing is, is that we are going to start ramping up the. Uh, Wedding stuff. Right. Well, something. And other, other bookings. That's the other thing. Something's, something's going to give there, you know. Right. We're so. just going to have to work it out. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. So. It always works yeah. out. One way or another. Good. I don't think we got anything done there. So. Not at all. No, we didn't get anything. Done. <laughs> but I kind of. I guess maybe this is the whole. The whole thing results in just a kind of warning. I think we're, next okay. time we talk about it, we, we have to have some it. solid numbers and get <laughs> real. So anyway, it won't be next meeting. It won't be. We'll be sure. Okay. Next is uh, recreation committee action item. Uh, report on the programs, current activities, and structure fees. Oh, let me just say we don't have a report because Cressa just started. And she's trying to figure out how all of this works. I've been talking to her. She feels more comfortable with it. 
Bill, she's not doing the filing yet. I'm just trying to get her to understand the whole facility rental thing and the instructor fees. And we have some issues with some of our instructors that she has to deal with. And also, she's it's not like she's doing everything right now, okay. but I'm doing the filing. And John's the secretary. He's doing the filing. Okay. So, and anyways. And she's not going to take notes, so I got all that time. Rosie. She's an administrator, administrator for facilities administrator, and that's going to probably be her email, facilityadmin at smrpd.org. The reason that we're not going to use her name is because if she ever decides I don't want to play anymore, we can just plug somebody else in there. Yeah. And all the emails will go to her. She'll also be getting contact us at smrpd.org. Could you make it smrpdadmin? No. Okay. It's just at, because it, smrpd is already in it. Okay. It's in the app. Okay. So it's facility admin at smrpd.org. Okay. And whoever has that title will have that email. Okay. Um, and she's not set up on that yet, as of yet, as far as I know from uh, Alex. But he's got the request in, and it should happen as soon as he can get to it. And starting next month, I'll ask her to provide monthly reports. For um, for us, but I just wasn't going to ask her because she's still trying to figure out how to do all this stuff. Okay, next item. Um, we've had on the docket here organized ribbon cutting ceremony for the new gazebo. Um, this Sunday, I'll be meeting with a band that possibly would probably play for us during the ribbon cutting. But I also would take uh, suggestions of any bands you might recommend. Also, I'm thinking of set, setting the date back to after we get landscaping done, parking lot done, and basketball court done, and then we'll have a full boat presentation of the brand new facility. It would include the floor, the, everything that we've done, and that we're maintaining right now. And then we can publicize our programs. Yeah. And then also, in the realm of committee or recreation, um, I've proposed a letter to help. We're, the SMRPD is going to become more involved in a presence at the summer concert series. We're going to be promoting our recreation program. We're going to be promoting our facility rentals. We're going to be promoting our school. Uh, we're going to be promoting everything that's under our umbrella. We're going to be doing that by um, having a booth, possibly cooking hamburgers, having a, a booth where we can have people sign up. We're going to give away lottery or the raffle tickets to anybody who puts their email down on a list so we can add that to our email blast. Also, what we need to do is to generate raffles. Uh, I've penned a letter, um, I haven't sent it out yet, but I've penned a letter to go to businesses and it says, to whom it may concern, our free monthly Silver Isle Summer Concert Series 2016 sponsored by SMRPD takes place on the third Saturday every month from May to September at the Silver Isle Fairgrounds Community Center. is located, blah, blah, blah. In order to ensure the success of our 10th anniversary of the concert series, we are seeking contributions to help defray the costs associated with the event, i.e. sound system upgrades, maintenance, etc. These contributions, in the way of merchandise, gift certificates, etc., will be used to generate interest as prizes in a dollar raffle. Generous donors like you make it possible for Silver Isle Summer Concert Series to provide a night of music and entertainment. We hope that we can count on your support. Your donation will be listed and displayed in our Home of the Dollar Raffle booth. Your name or company can also be listed in the event website, Facebook page as well. And then it says WWSMRPD Summer Con or the Silver Isle Summer Concert Series and Facebook Silver Isle Summer Concert Series. We thank you for your time and consideration. Sincerely, and then I have my name and the signature to make it official to help us get solid donations to get solid participation from people in the raffles. Sometimes when it's a great prize, we've, we've had a prize last all five concerts, and we, we have a special raffle for that, and then someone can win that. Mm -hmm. Somebody stole it, though. Edit that yeah. comment out. Guitar. What, what was that it in the letter? Cigar box guitar. Oh, that, that, what, that, that, what's that, that guitar. Cigar box. What is your letter? Kevin's the one that stole it. Anyway, in the way of merchandise, gift certificates, etc. It could be gift cards. It could be. That's right. It could be a certificate. It could be. What about money? Do we ask for money in that letter? 
we just say these contributions in the way of merchandise gift certificates will be used. They're no one's going to get money. They're going to want to know it's about. if they're tax deductible. Yes, we can give them tax deductible. You should yeah, say that in there in the next yeah. Okay, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm going to believe this. Now, yeah. we, yeah, I do have an asterisk yeah. where it does say our free mustard. I put an asterisk that says we do suggest to bring one can of food for our local food bank, but it is not mandatory. Do you want to consider some suggested prizes that we might, we think would be good ones? Gift cards are always good. Classic cars. Motorcycles. Boats. Guitars. A $25 gift certificate. Yeah, everybody loves them. Okay. Why don't I... I'm going to put that on. Just consider that. Yeah. All donations can be taxed. Yeah, and I would just say that they're free. I wouldn't mention the can of food. It's too much information. I think. Yeah. They're dumb enough. I put all, all donations are tax deductible under IRS regulations. Yeah. Usually you say tax deductible to the extent allowed by discuss law. With, discuss with your account. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Discuss with your account. That's a good idea. No charge what? more than the deduction. Man. Banners. Have a big banner. For company, the company can buy their own banners. Yeah, for a thousand bucks you can sponsor the two thousand bucks sponsor. Then they have to them. pay a banner fee. Right. Well, that's nothing. No, that's where you get all the money. That's that's it. That's what oh, I'm saying. That's what we used to do. You do that at high school yeah. and stuff. Do that, man. That it sounds like I'll be making banners. Come on that fence on the out. Yeah, you can have them coming down. So it was all great. You might want to say that average attendance at the concert is. Do we really want to give names? Do they want to pay? If they want to pay, just for one concert, they get they get selling. You know, sponsor the concert. That would be SMRPD. Ice cream donated by the humor. People don't even know what SMRPD no. does in the community. They just say it's a cop police there. department. The PD. It's, it's um, been happening. And with that said, we're working on our... Uh, Zach has been working hard on our, our lineup, and we're getting there. And we're sad to say that another another portrait has been added to our... our, our, our Pictures, our memorial, family memorial. memorial. I don't know if anyone knows this, but Mama's in the House production, that's Dusty Munch, mm -hmm. Mama. And then we have Donnie Keene that says, come early. Gil says, free dancing. Duke says, no pets, please. And Dave <laughs> says, home of the dollar raffle. We just added Shasta. Shasta's passed away. Oh. And so now she's on here, and she says, 70, 70th year. That's 10 years to you folks. <laughs> That's funny. Can we'll so explain that to you guys later. later. Right. So, <laughs> we have, uh, so in May, tentative lineup is Freight Shakers and Road Work. In June, we have the Higgs and some to be announced. In July, we have Strawberry Moon and Kelly Skater. And August, we have Days of Blue and Jason Richards. And Maybe September, we have Tommy Reeser and really? Echo Sparks. So, of the year. so yeah. pretty Strawberry good lineup. Can play the same night as the Higgs. What time does it start? Uh, we always have it six to ten, but five thirty is good. I so like we need another band to play with the Higgs. They were right. Who's going to be out for a one more band? If you know one, is it somebody to open up for the Higgs? You mean? He's probably got somebody. There's a few bands. They might know somebody that they want to open up for them. We should ask them. I think maybe somebody in the car or one this week. Yeah, maybe got freeze. But I always no strawberry moon. I was I stuck with Kelly Skater. Because the drummer is manager of Kelly Skater. I've never heard of Kelly Skater. Reggae album of the year. They're a reggae band? Yes. Kelly Skater? Um, S K it's with an A. Scar. Right. Scar, you let yeah. him up. Yeah. You know who's really good is Lisa Unger's boyfriend's band, but they're up in Berkeley and they only come down here sometimes. They are the Dusty Green Bones. So that's oh, not really helping us, is it, Shay? Sorry. Good, they go. might come back. <laughs> They were just here the other night. Yeah, I know. I know. That's what I do. <laughs> I'd love to have them. Okay. I know. Okay. Fundraising committee. Shay. Can you figure out who's the hamburgers? Oh, oh, that's right. We're uh, being more involved. Um, I'd like to put a motion that the SMRPD takes over hamburger cooking. Now, we can set it up to where what I'd like to do is have SMRPD. We don't have a really nice, good barbecue anymore. Ours are just tattered and worn. And gone, but it would be nice if we went and bought a nice, you know, not expensive one, just a nice one, and 
we would be responsible for the burgers. And we can have volunteers come in and flip burgers. We could give one night to the Children's Center where they would make the profits of flipping the burgers. We could give another night for another purpose. Um, but mainly under SMRPD, and we pick and choose who we would like Remember, the money we're to going to need the money. Yeah, we're going to need the money. Because we hired Cressa. Yeah, we have to. We have bills to pay. We have now. We have staff. You make money on burgers, not a lot, because we don't charge much, and we feed the staff in the band. Yeah, we've got a thing of five dollars, and we put together a burger, a scoop of beans, chip. a chip, scoop and of beans. I think that's it. it. Yeah, that's it. Things are separate. Right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, so, with so that said, we, we sell well, roughly okay. about 120 a night. So you figure minimum you might get out of there with oh, 250 to $300 profit. Not very much. For, no, but that's for we two hours, three lot, hours work. You'd get a lot more profit if we sold uh, beer. But, but that's, that'd be really hard. To now you're talking, though. Yeah, yeah. you're talking. You're talking about a different kind of a. Yeah, then we got to get ABC. There, there get are no, speaking of that, there are no like health department issues with us. Hey. Oh, hamburgers? Oh. Well, I mean, we're serving food. We're cooking. Yeah. We're serving food. We're, 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 we're already that. licensed with our kitchen for the senior lunch bunch. I'm just, the, I'm just throwing oh, it out there. there. I don't know. Oh, so. Well, it'd be good to have a food handler. Yeah. Do that. Well, we, we have so one. So we have one that's uh, probably would like to help. We have people yeah. in line that, that want to help. I mean, Mr. Breakfast doesn't okay. worry. They don't worry about even it. if it's it for SMRPD. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I can get other people to do the burgers. You know, let them ask. Yeah, them. we don't have to do burgers. Can I suggest you have something healthy on the menu for people? No, that we don't have a menu. That makes it expensive. There's no menu. You can't do a veggie There's burger. No menu. No. There's no menu. Easy. I don't eat hamburgers, and I don't eat at the concert you know, the because other, there's The other thing we do, you can come and cook your own food, too. People come and do that. Well, okay, I, I have an issue with buying the barbecue, because we had like six of them here when we took <laughs> over. <laughs> yeah. But that's why they're gone. Because they, they weren't were back in the shape. They were all handy. But they were. They were <laughs> I was bringing mine from okay. home. But where are well, we the, going the to one put that Frank, it? The one that Frank donated yard. was a very, very nice barbecue, but it simply sat around too. It just, yeah. it, they die. You know, overuse, they rot, they get they food get rot. Rusty they, get, they get rats. Yeah, mm -hmm. they get lots of rats. They get bees. Uh, you get bees. Okay, well, it sounds like... Well, are you proposing to well, buy one? I was thinking of it, but it doesn't sound like it. If we've got to do food handling and this and that and the other, let's just do it the way we used to. How is that? Yeah. We just give it to somebody to do. The only reason this is even being talked about is because the guy who did it for the last two years uh, can't do it because his parents went, they're going back to uh, the Philippines. The Philippines. Mm -hmm. So it's the only reason it's up. It's a good way to talk to people and represent the candy and then. Yeah. It was just a lot of plus. It's for good for you guys. Out. I would continue to work on that if I were you. I would. I would. Try to keep it. I've got it. Not post, but there's just a lot of things to think about. Cooking burgers. I did it. <laughs> well, That's we started. So nice I did it about. the first couple of years. I did all the shopping. I did it all, and I don't want to do it again. But yeah. even I did it. You know, it's not that hard. You go to smart you think that there's We served I mean, a nice barbecue meal that cost this district a couple thousand dollars to undo the the drains. But do you think there's interest in someone taking on all of that whole aspect of shopping and setting it up and cooking and serving when the money is going to a government agency? We're hoping it's volunteers. Mm -hmm. That's what we live off of, volunteers. I think people want to help. Once guys, a month. It's, it's a lot of fun. You're yeah. listening to the music. You're out there. And yeah. It's, it's, it's like having a booth at the fair. You're part of it. If you and now, the other, thing, you guys go, no the other thing that can happen is they, they could be paid out of the money. Been too hot. You know, you make I don't know if they know we got you make it work their <laughs> I, wouldn't, Not I don't think he there. would agree with that because so yeah. just I think what we're all someone. maybe uh, waiting for is for no, somebody they, to show a strong Because there's no money changing hands other than the dollar. But if someone's, I mean, we've got people strong commitments that want to do it, but. We have no benefit of it whatsoever. They're just going to do it. 
Mm -hmm. They're not going to do it for us. That's, I'm just putting it out there. No, if it good. becomes a problem, I don't want to do it. You know, see, Kevin, the, the, what about the ice cream? We can do that. That's no problem. He's your ice cream man. We should have Cressa do now. She can pay. Cressa, she can earn enough money to pay. I've already Peter talked Peter. to Cressa about it. <laughs> you get to know everybody. Yeah, yeah. she's a real turd. Wait, 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 we don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mary has a fit. I think. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Go, go for it. Go for it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. I've already got a volunteer. Well, do we're going to be, we're going to be doing the. Uh, I don't. I do. <laughs> we're going to be. Let's get get out of We're already going to be taking over ice cream Sundays. And that's where we're going to be giving raffle prizes. Oh, good. Or ra that raffle tickets for prizes for emails. And we're going to be talking about our programs and our flyers for uh, Zumba's and every other program we got going. And um, so the SMRPD, I just was thinking there's no better way to communicate with the our community when three to 400 people are sitting right in your front doorstep. Um, and if you don't, do that, there's no other better way to get a hold of them. Hey, what, what percentage of people that come to the, and you're right, Zach, I haven't been, you know, like two, but how many, what's the percentage of people that come from downtown? All the cool people. All the cool people are up yeah, here. You haven't been there, huh? More and no, more. <laughs> oh, there's more and more coming there's, from down below. There's some. What? Like more and more people. We more get lots more. of people from so is it downtown. Like, you think it's half the people are from no. no, no, okay. not that no, many. It's still no. mostly candy. People. But no, but there's it's it's candy. Word will get out. I know it will. Yeah. Yeah. And friends come from here. Friends, friends, friends come, come from, from you know, and people around and here. It depends yeah. on the band yeah. we yeah. have playing. Yeah. The bands yeah. have the their bands groupies right come up. Yeah. And oh. the bands, because bands have their own bands. Yeah, yeah. yeah we got good bands with yeah, friends. Yeah, they have these. Yeah, there's a lot of flat bands. You wouldn't believe the amount of people with their social media and everything else. That's, I just wanted to throw it out there because mm -hmm. I I think it's a great idea, but I don't care. I, I mean, I I've had a million ideas in my life. You can have <laughs> you can have that one. Well, well it is our <laughs> most. I, I'm not. There's I just a lot of questions. I'm not opposed to it. There's just questions. Why don't you just pick out a barbecue and make yeah, a could, request? We could do it, but you you want propane, right? I mean, you want yeah. Yeah. Well, Danny, the other thing, Danny Brown. Danny, no. Danny Brown propane. supplies the propane for free. He comes and fills up our tanks. Steve, where would we put it? Behind the building over there where we put the other one. Are the games gone? No. <laughs> what do you mean they're not gone? Oh, they're oh, are they they gone. gone. Are they gone? I don't know. They better be we, gone. We were going to gotta hack them up. I it's, a big, it's kind of a job to hack they're them up. They're gone. You got rid of them already? I didn't do anything. They just disappeared. <laughs> oh, Shane? Did, did All right. Yet? No, I don't think so. The aliens got them. But anyway, so there's space back them. there for a barbecue, and if you buy a barbecue, buy a cover, okay? Mm hmm So. I think it's a good idea if you guys do that. That way, it, it, it'll all be yours 100% pretty much. Pretty much? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like it better than just someone hey, we, setting up and well, making money at the local event. Okay. Okay. So, so, we're going to make a motion to... <laughs> Secure a barbecue and spend. Buy a new barbecue. Buy a new one. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it can't be used. To buy a new one. Also, it should and have. And a cover. And a cover, and it should have a burner or two next to it. <laughs> because we've got to cook the beans. And tiny barbed wire around the bottom to keep the rats out. No tiny barbed wire. And. Yeah, the last one I put the cage stuff on the back of it, remember? Yeah. yeah. So we get the one with the burner, and that way Hard work we don't need to bring a hot plate. We can just put the beans you put in the, the pot beans on there, and then open you got up that big can of the, the, the big griddle on there to flip. Now the only bummer is this year. Pe I hope people weren't spoiled by last year because Eric's mom and dad made the beans from scratch. Oh, I yeah. didn't think they were those that were, good. Those oh, they were excellent. Boy, really? They were good beans, but they didn't, they didn't they didn't soak them in water first. Oh. Uh, Fart like a grill in the there was something wrong with them. Maybe that was it. Was you fart like crazy? Though. I used to just buy the bush, the cans of bush, and yeah, that's all we're doing. They're good. That's all we're doing. Bushes or <laughs> all right, go to final and get the big deal and move the giant cans. Yeah, yeah like five. He moved. Yeah. Yeah. He's Mark. waiting for second. a second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, which runs us right into fundraising committee. 
just I think the way it is. Ugly. Shay is the head of fundraising. She should make the menu. What menu? <laughs> there will be. There there will be grass-fed burgers and veggie burgers on the menu. You can get your yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Well, you can't hit your target of five dollars. No, so you can't. You're not on that. On the veggie burger, you because you're not. So you're on not on that committee. Um, the veggie burgers are think. always. Okay, we're moving on to fundraising. <laughs> we are Thank you. Yeah. Shay, you're asked to approve funds for advertising in OrangeCounty.net for event hosting. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. what's that number you're asking for? 220. He said he would honor the good guy deal that he offered last year for nonprofit plus like a discount. Can I ask one question? Yes. This is 220 per year, and we can promote anything we want. Can we put five, on our wedding site five, five categories? Okay, said. so we could promote the children's center. That would be a category. Yeah. Oh, so this is for all kinds of things. Yeah. Yes, it's weddings. a great deal. It's a great deal. And the children's now, we could do and the facility rental, we could do meeting oh, sites, well, that's, that's, we that's could do all deal. of that. So, and then plus event promoting underneath that for yeah. the chili cook-off, the those you are know, country fair. And, and are you going to be yeah, the, get those for free. Are you going okay. to be the go-to contact for OrangeCounty.net? That would be fine. Okay. I make a motion to... What? what do you need? Oh, you don't have a spreadsheet on it? No! <laughs> it's that, I mean, this is serious stuff. This it isn't is. something you can just throw out there. I mean, to craft what we have to craft for this, we need certain kind of words, certain kind of mm -hmm. pictures, mm -hmm. and everything has to be consistent. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, I've, already so asked, we have to I've already asked the questions I wanted, but I didn't get answers. No, so I didn't get answers I don't. I don't, I don't. I mean, if, if you consider what... You know, I, I really want to know how many people they contact, how many people they get hits, how many people a month. Is it what categories are hottest? Um, all these. Yeah, you have to do some research to figure out how to use this site and what yeah. to use it for. So we can go ahead and improve this, but I don't want you to go out and buy no, it tomorrow. No, don't buy it tomorrow. No, let's but spend the time figuring yeah, out what get to everything, do. Everything, get the verbiage that we want for all these things, get the pictures organized, and then go boom. Right. Everything on there is very professional. The, the language is. is professional and the photos mm -hmm. are extraordinarily appealing. What was really nice places. is um, our annual events, they're keeping on their site. I paid 25 bucks for okay, the fair thing. That's something else. I we know, don't need I know. to talk about that. We do have a, a photographer that's willing to give her time. As Cressa is a photographer. Mm -hmm. She does her own photography, so she can help. Did uh, you ever get the wedding pictures? I have them. I, I, yeah. I tell you, you I, just, I can't ask it's for. Kind of I don't ask Shay for anything anymore. It just, yes, it's it like this freaking blonde vacuum. <laughs> oh, Nothing no. happens. Yeah, I went through the stuff that oh. you said. We have a lawyer well. next to you. <laughs> <laughs> well, she knows. Like she knows I do. I just like what? I mean, what? Are... I don't get all those emails that you say you send. And all That's of the still stuff. Running. <laughs> okay, all right. Anyway, let's just move okay. on. Okay, well, Kevin was in the process of making a motion to approve this. But with, I don't think he actually got it done. Yeah, well, we can either make a motion to approve it with, with more information and more solid plan. I think we should just approve it, and then we can figure out what to do. Okay. But not do it till we're ready. Right. All right. Now, does it, now, does it start? It off the table. Does it start the year? The year starts the day we give them the 220. Uh, or is it so seasonal? I would imagine, but uh, that would be a question. Here. Let's see. When he gave let's that. see if we can get any of these questions answered from the guy. But also, let's make a motion mm -hmm. to allot $220 for OrangeCounty.net for up to five different categories to promote, from the Children's Center to our concerts to our rental wedding facilities. Mm -hmm. I'll mm -hmm. second that. Mm -hmm. All in favor? Uh, Aye. 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 Good. All right. This is the best part of the meeting. Public comment? Wait. What? Oh, what about other fundraising? Oh. Was that on there? No, you, it's your number. No, it wasn't. But you're mm -hmm. the committee. You can add whatever I didn't you want. Any emails about oh. that. You didn't send me anything about what was going to be on the agenda. But I do know you need to talk about chili cook offs. Yes, I wanted to get it up. 
I wanted to get approval for the Canyonland Conservation Fund to have a beer booth and donate all 100% proceeds to the Children's Center. For what? For the at beer. The at, the, at the chili cook-off. Cook oh, at the chili cook-off. At the well, chili cook-off. The chili cook-off, under what I understand about the chili cook-off, is everything is for the Children's Center. There, there's no, no, we want no, to change it. No. So, Everything would go. No, we've no. never had it here at our park, so we've never had an ABC license for the chili cook-off at our park that needs to be approved by the board, and we need a nonprofit to do it. Right. And the Inner Canyon League, it, it was really hard to get the Inner Canyon League in with the country fair, and they were to keep part of that proceed and donate part of it, or keep it all. It was up to them, and it was hard to do. And, um, and we didn't get any. And that was with a sponsor of beer. And I don't have that sponsor for free beer right now. So mm -hmm. I free thought it would beer. be better to go with a local organization that's going to for sure we donate it all. It. Mm -hmm. Doesn't have a problem with that, number one. Number two, we already have insurance. Intercanely had to buy a separate insurance policy. We're already insured. So that's why I was thinking it would be a lot okay. easier for me to do. Because mm -hmm. I already do it anyway. I do the ABC license. I think as much money can, that can be generated for the Children's Center is the best thing to do. Because but the chili Kevin, cook off has always been for the children. Right, center. but if they if they get the beer, they're going to get the lion's share of the money, but we can get the rest of the money. And we're going to need the money. Is the chili cook off we're only gonna need We're only going to need to pay the, the, 25, to, the $25. I, think, I only want to do beer, not beer and wine. $25. For the nonprofit uh, ABC license, and then we wouldn't. We already have an annual policy that covers this, so there wouldn't be any payment to Canyonland for the for the insurance. Um, if I don't get a beer sponsor, then there would be a beer uh, mm -hmm. price coming out of that. Cups, mm -hmm. beer, mm -hmm. wristbands. That's mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. I have wristbands, so I don't really see that even being a problem. You got wristbands, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, but uh, but you're not doing, <coughs> you're proposing to do the beer booth, but not the whole chili cook-off, right? I'm 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 or, in charge of running the whole chili cook-off. You are. But Canyonland would would be the nonprofit to sponsor the beer booth. I got you. We did that. the Children's Center can't okay good. have a non have can't get a beer license. Okay, that's clear. Can SMR okay, TV. that's clear. Get it? And yeah. now we're talking to Debbie about Can't have the, the SMRPD right. being a benefactor. They would be good at it. You would like the SMRPD to be a benefactor of the chili cook-off also? Yeah. Okay. <coughs> it makes sense because we have all these public events and the SMRPD just anything. keeps putting out money, putting out money, and we get nothing. Well, do you want that proposed to the Canyonland for, for beer proceeds or just from chili tickets? Or does it matter? Well, it seems like last year we had this issue, and we just reserved the question of how to allocate the proceeds until after, until after we had the chili cook-off. There was certain were. funding that SMRPD gave mm -hmm. to make it happen, mm -hmm. and then last year when we got the accounting, we decided what to do with it, and it did go to the Children's Center, mm -hmm. but we reserved that issue. And um, we do have other things we do, like the lunch bunch, mm -hmm. and Cressa. we have uh, Cressa, and we have a deficit, etc. So yeah, um, Steve Riker, he's draining this. We don't this I have we <laughs> we don't have to. I don't think we have to guarantee in advance that everything that we raise from not, the event not we now, sponsor. Since we're not doing it at Irvine at Irvine Lake because Irvine Lake wouldn't wouldn't give us a place mm -hmm. right unless we were. It was for the children's center. Right, no, but, but for that, here, no, that's not that's true. That's not true. Uh -uh. Okay, well, but, no, but for here, we don't need to decide that no, issue. No. There is an issue that should be decided though. Beer. Right now, there is an ethical issue because the Canyon Land Conservation Fund is Shay's nonprofit, and there is an ethical issue about a board member using the board to to get money for their Definitely. nonprofit, and that's gone to trial. Yeah. So I think if we but stipulate... But she's not proposing that they get any money. Right. right. So I think that we should decide that all the money would go to the Children's Center from the beer garden. Yeah. yeah. I like that because it's, it's clean. Well, clean. That's what she's proposing. That's what Shay's proposing. You don't have to stipulate that it goes to the Children's Center. That's just part of SMRPD. You can just stipulate that 
it's all going to go to SMRP, the umbrella of SMRPD. Okay, that's fine. But I have a more fundamental issue, which is this isn't on the agenda. You are talking about an action item. You are talking about a director's uh, own nonprofit, and I think it has to be a noticed item. Yeah, it should be. Put it on next month. Yeah. Table. Can you wait until next month? Yeah, I can't do the license until 30 days before the event. Okay. That's the cutoff. So put it on the next one. I agenda. just would okay. like to know yeah. if that's the direction. Whatever you I'm whatever do. you want <laughs> should be on the next agenda. Whatever you need approved, Shay, you'll you be need getting to write close. Down what you want on the agenda. I will. For that. I will. Anything chili cook off. She will. did send an email about that, but yeah. I just and then got, I took off to Northern California and I was and okay. I put John's wrong name on his airplane ticket to Kenya. <laughs> oh, gosh. Do you have anything else? That's not good. Not my you long name. Do you want to talk about? Somebody uh, else's name up for my no, ticket. No, that was it. Those were the two <laughs> things not true. that I needed. So, okay. Shay, when, when do we have, like, the first chili cook-off meeting? I mean, I'd like to... We have a date. Soon now. Now. Okay. Yeah, May 7th. Sure May 7th. Our newsletter's yeah. coming out next week. Look, the record show May 7th is going to be the chili cook-off. I don't, cook cook off. Yeah. I don't want to, like, I don't want to run started. into the parking lot. Okay. That. So probably in March we'll have the first meetings. Yeah. May 7th. That's what we did last time. Okay. Yeah, I couldn't remember when we... Yes. Yeah, we'll do it in March. Okay. So that's something we can... We did agree on May 7th is the chili cook-off day. And we sort of do a Cinco de Mayo chili cook-off. This will be the first one on a Saturday, because Irvine Lake always gave us a Sunday only. Right. I think it's going to be more successful on a Saturday. It'll be nice in some ways, and another way is that it, then it doesn't now, uh, thing conflict you have to, with... You have to find out if you're going to have... You got to maybe change the rules that you don't have to cook it on site. No, that's the judge's choice. Chili has to be cooked on site. That, those are, that's a chili rule. Okay. The people's choice does not. That's how, that's how it's okay. been. Everybody's happy with that. All right. And then we'll need to get with facility. I'm a judge. I'm not happy with it. Why? Yeah. He wants all of it cooked on site. I'd, I'd rather they cook it at home. It's better that way. <laughs> <laughs> the chili's not good. Yeah. They only got a short time to prepare it there. At the okay. late, so at home, they cook it all and night. That's it. And we're in. Well, yeah. we're, when in your planning committee, you need to have for Steve real. there or Phil, and they need to I'm find out what chili. you need at each booth. Go for it. As I'm a judge, and this time as whatever is going to be. Yeah, it's gonna I'm going to follow the same thing yeah. we did Make over sure the told. lake, and I was gonna but you have to explain it all to them. Yeah, because we might have to bring in a generator and see if we can get one donated. Blah blah. The SEL's got a generator. Oh, you know what? Our power will spike. We only no, allow no, the oh, yeah, bounce gonna, house. No, I'm talking about a, I'm talking about a big old diesel generator. That we only you can allow the bounce house Mike. and the um, sound to have something? power at Never the chili cook-off. We didn't let through. any chili booth or any vendor have any power. They had to have a generator or whatever. We'll just keep it that way. Chili booths don't need power. Okay. Nobody gets power except for propane. Propane yeah. power. That's all I need. Yeah. Just let the facility. That shouldn't spike. The facilities yeah, committee the know the anything you need or what you're going to be doing. Yeah. You know, Power for the bands. Yeah. What's it's a, just, and we had spike. a solar when we had a solar panel for the stage last year. Finally Let's not talk person. about what we've done. It's but a waste of time. We can't hear because there's no space for that. We don't need it. Yeah. I don't. I don't have an answer for the spiking. Yeah. Did you call? Did you? This hello. event's not going to spike it. I'm not. I'm not even trying again. Kevin's going to call. <laughs> Fair didn't even say that. I'll buy you a bottle, brother. They're very hard to get a hold of, but I think I can maybe go around. I haven't had time to do it, but you've got you've got to find direct lines from people through other assets, through Internet, and you find somebody and you talk to them, and, and it's a whole wheeling deal. I will buy you a bottle of whiskey if you can get that taken care of. <laughs> I should, I should, have, one. I should I have one just to start. You should start. You should have one to start. You want to specify the whiskey? Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. like a Crown Royal, a Crown Royal that's handle. Okay. I thought he was gonna, you know, do a, a handle, you know, the big ball. <laughs> I thought he was gonna do a 50, oh. 50 year Glen fitted. I have one other question. Can I put someone on a flyer for the chili cook off? Another part. That can go in the century. Oh, I have to do all of that stuff. Say what it is. I thought it was the next to receive it. Yeah. No early advertising. We're not gonna waste money on advertising this year. Spent too much money. Flyer. Who does the flyers? You do now. Do you have Who someone that you're going to train to do this in the future? 
Well, that's well, kind of up to this board. Well, no, it's, it's, it's up to under you. the SMRPD. Oh. Well, you it need would to really be under... Is Wendy your assistant on this one? No. She's not doing it. No, Wendy's that. gone. Okay. The she volunteers leaving? are a little thinner, so we need new ones. Yeah. Okay. When's Wendy leaving? Where's she going? Oh, I don't know, but she's just she's just not volunteering Let's, herself for events. Okay, let All me right. just suggest, when you get your committee together, see who might want to... If you're leaving the canyon, you need to, you know, get somebody who's willing to take over the event and put it together. I mean, it's not rocket science, but it's not easy either, but it's just something that takes time. Yeah. And I think with the amount of right people in place, if they want to mm -hmm. commit for a two-year program, then we just have to find those two-year people over and over, mm -hmm. and it can, it can mm -hmm. survive and be seamless with all procedures and policy in place and we do this, this, this type of thing. But you really have to pay attention and let some of the yeah. people know what goes on and when it has to go on. That's, it, we no, started no, a couple of years ago creating a book. It's going to be like a seminar. And everything's in it. And Melody and I'd like to be in on the start so that we can coordinate a little better on the money handling. Uh -huh. it, it went fine last year, but it was yeah. very complex. Right. And we would like to be able to try and simplify it like instead of buying a ticket and then using the ticket and like that, just yeah. use dollar bills or something. Let's have a money meeting. <laughs> yeah, we'll have a money meeting or just okay. get us, let us know, we'll get involved that would with be that. Good. Okay. Simplify things. Okay. okay. All right. Control. No, we have public comments. I have public comments. We have some <laughs> Silverado Summer Concert sticker. Public comments. <laughs> <laughs> um, these are the bottom left is like? the second place from last year. Then I have my aliens in there. Oh, the aliens are back. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the aliens. I started is, that. Oh, I started Cowboys and Aliens. If we get fair it. It was supposed to, no, it never happened. happened. I know. It never happened. I know, because I got over it real fast. Yeah. <laughs> but I've never left it alone. <laughs> I like the one with the gear. Uh, I like that. The bicycle and gears thing. I can see through this thing. paper, yeah. and I've already picked that yeah, up. Yeah, that's that's the winner. That, that is so like cool. JP that that's edgy. You know, Silverado's Roswell. So, anyways, that's like the only public comment. Any board comments? Yes. Yeah, I'm I have one. <laughs> oh, you have probably seen it out on the marquee. We're showing The Martian Thursday at 12.45. Good movie. Yeah, so spread the word. And even if people don't come for the lunch bunch uh, luncheon, uh, after that we are going to have a showing of Oscar-nominated movie, The Martian. Um, That's in there? Yep. Yeah. How'd you get that? Oh, special order. <laughs> Kevin did it. Kevin did it, of course. What is it? Cool. A DVD? A DVD? Don't open it up. Oh, yeah. it, better. Yeah. Just, yeah. it looks like a real to real. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. Yes, it it's is. a DVD. Real to That's fancy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, this will be at Lunch Bunch? You at show? lunch, yes. right after lunch, we're going to show one we're of the movies. So, if nothing else, people have an opportunity to see you one movie before comment. the Oscars. Zach Austin. wants to watch it during lunch. Which lunch? Yeah. Lunch? As soon as they serve our food, we should start oh. showing it. Well, I put on the marquee 1245, so that's about people are relying on that. That's about the time. Yeah, so. Okay, oh, one more thing. I forgot to, I made a little note to myself. Um, I'm in contact with a vet, a veterinarian who just opened up a practice down on Chapman. Uh, he bought an old-timer's practice, I mean, old-timer who sold it, then went back and then sold it and sold it. He's like the third remove from the original vet. Um, but we're thinking of maybe SMRPD sponsored vaccination clinic. So I'm going to talk to him about it. And we I, know yet. I have issues with using our facilities for profit making businesses. I like well, no, no, we, we get the barefoot. Well, no, oh, we, we get, get the get money. The money. Oh, okay. So well, he sets a I price. Are still oh, having different. a vaccination yeah, They don't have it anymore. Oh, it's gone? Yeah. They yeah. say that every year. Oh, they do it again. then the uh, doors open. Right. Yeah. Wait, you might want to check with Frank, because every year they say that they're not going to do it, and then they do it again. You know how that goes, Phil? Yeah, that's true. We I don't should, think should. they're doing it, though. This but if they year. said I mean, they're not they going to do it, then we can just... Yeah, but then they have a royal either, but it? I think he, he moved. The royal he guy just there. quit. No, he's there. No. He just didn't want to do it anymore. He's a royal. Yeah, so we got a new sucker. You might check with, with Sherry and Frank. Yeah. I will. Well, this is just something I yeah, came up with. I got a guy who's down here. He needs to build his business up. So he's just doing it for possible referrals on here. But we're going to get 
inexpensive and convenient vaccinations for our dogs. And I know, people like that. I know my dog's up for it. Um, I mean, he doesn't look forward to it, but he's up. <laughs> Are you going to no, <laughs> My family really double, double. appreciates the barefoot vet being here, so I'm, oh, yeah. I would like us, anybody in the canyon, and SMR Beauty to have promoted her. I know, I know. I know. I dropped back, the ball man. on that. God dang. I used to email everybody, but I don't have yeah, yeah. email anymore. Keep doing it again. Do you want to do an e-blast for her? Get on it. Have Shay, get on it. No. I on, don't Shay. have that computer anymore. <laughs> on my mom's computer. The reason why I had an hey, issue with that, I told you that. It was to sit. Yeah. Wait, start. Okay. <coughs> Let's see. I think. That's it. Meeting adjourned. Okay. Meeting, meeting, Good job, Kevin. Meeting adjourned. Yeah. Keep yeah. yeah. Good yeah. job, Mr. Good. President. Good. 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 I, did, I got a guy. Yeah. I got a guy. I'll set you up. He'll come to you and set you up. Hey, Max. You can order all that stuff. I did find it. Say goodnight to everybody, Max. I'm going to just show this off to everyone. But a handful of our own friends are going to be able to see what they're talking about. Good night, puppy dog. Too many people. Hey, Max. I've been there. Good night. My whole career. Good night, Max.